Episode 23, A Date with Danger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Astronomer wants the D now. And Zane I wants her pussy. I would have given her the D. Understandable, but... Uh, I would have given her all of the D, to Yeah, be no, I, I'm, I'm with Bill on this. I'm done with this episode. Let's move on. Uh, actually, I think I want to bring up a few things. Go ahead. Just a few things. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not denying you. Yeah. I'm just... You guys uh, have the floor. I have very... Um, you guys have the floor. I I, I I'll argue with you from time to time. All the fucking shame, did you, dude? I just this episode disgusted me. Uh, like, I fucking animal. hated what, this episode. What I'm going to bring up is uh, more or less about the pictures. Go ahead, man. Now somehow Zane got a picture of Astrona just before she teleported away. Yeah, and Astrona has a promo picture of Zane. Yeah, yeah. The the actual actor's headshot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't understand that. You know what? You know what's happening? It's because they're gonna go see a Romeo and Juliet knockoff movie, so they have to fucking show it to the goddamn kids. Yeah. We're gonna go see Star Crossed Lovers because it's playing at the movie theater. Eee! Ow, bitch! I don't want to go see that. Anna Sarama's waiting and waiting. Those were the girls. Waiting. Well, well, Andros is going because the lady he likes is going. Yeah. Carlos and TJ are like, I have no interest in any of you. We don't want to go. <laughs> but they get good. dragged the fuck along too. And then at the end, they're like, "Man, that was actually pretty good." And my like, guys, to be fair, um, they did owe it to the girls because they drugged the girls to some martial arts yeah. fucking kicky flippy. Uh, okay, movie. And, and, yes. and, and and okay, yes, they went and they, they did enjoy themselves. And when yeah. they went to the kicky flippy movie, they had no interest in the girls. No, they never. Right. No, like it's TJ and uh, and uh, it, uh, Carlos. No, 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 no. Cassie, no, no. Cassie, thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh. TJ and Cassie, they're decent friends. That's all they are. There's right. zero indication that there's anything there. Same thing with Carlos. Yeah. Yep. Well, yes and no. But Carlos is good with Ashley. They're yeah. friends. He's also, and he also feel. Yeah, I was about to say, Carlos. We're not there yet, but right. he's good friends with Cassie and Ashley. Yes. But he has no interest in ever dating them. Yeah, Same thing that with interest, TJ. that's right. not right. there. But, but yeah. Yeah. let's jump ahead just a tiny bit, because when friendly fire happens, there's hand grabbing. Followed by, get your fucking hand off me. I fucking hurt you. When she literally looks dejected like, we're Bitch, gonna, I'm saying it's okay. It. Come yeah. fucking cuddle with me. Get some snuggles. Maybe do some making out later. No, I don't think she had that about no, it. No, she really didn't don't have see that. It. But if he would have played his cards right. I don't know. I don't see it. There's I don't no, see there, there being is, there any is, connection there between is, them. There is, uh, when, you're when, my when, very good friend. When, 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 these two, when these two sets first came in, the TJ, Cassie... Along with uh, Carlos and Ashley. Ashley. You could have right. seen them possibly hooking up then. But as the friendships yeah. have developed, it's yeah. very much become... I don't see anything yeah. beyond you, it's my It's obvious buddy. that Ashley likes Andros, and Andros right. likes Ashley. And actually, yeah. I think they do end up together. And Cassie still has a thing yeah. for the Phantom Ranger. And yeah. Cassie yes. has a thing for Billy. But I still, I still say that I've seen no actual evidence that he actually likes her. Maybe as right. a friend, but that's it. He acknowledges something is happening. He acknowledges that he, he... I think that he acknowledges that she likes him. No, I'm serious. Yeah, but yeah. I don't see it. I really don't see it. That the, the, the stuff that we've seen so far, leaving her a message and a couple things like that, there's nothing that proves to me Hell, Billy, that he has Billy any interest Billy and Trainee in had more of a connection. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, still, I, still, I still say that is Billy... In that suit. To be fair, I think you were right. That, that yeah. is if that Billy. episode wouldn't have got cut, and they would have revealed the Phantom Ranger. We would have. I'm positive that is Billy. There's no doubt in my mind. And actually, my theories on Billy have even been confirmed by producers on the show. Oh fuck! No, I just thought about it. You do have a lot to talk about on this fucking episode. Because let's get through all the bullshit. So astronomer wants some D. And Zane wants some pussy. So, hey, let's go on a date. Okay. Hey, don't fucking send any monsters until I say so. Hey, have you seen Astronema? No. Well, where the fuck is she? Uh-oh. Fuck it. Send monsters. Astronema's waiting. Astronema's waiting. The fuck did she tell you to do? And guess what? This does go into the, he's honorable. He is fucking not. He is evil. If he, he is a bad guy. Yeah. 
He is a bad guy that is out for his own fucking means like every other bad guy. He sees a chance to kill the Rangers. He makes these fucking comments like, I would never disobey you. I'm totally loyal. You're my princess. I love you. You're basically my daughter. Well, if that's true, what the fuck are you doing? You're not Mm -hmm. respecting her wishes. She says, on my command, send them. If I give no command, you don't send them. Right, because... The, if I don't say jump, you don't say how high and then do it. The great samurai warrior that is loyal and honorable to his lord does not make a move without the say-so of his lord. And she said, we're not doing that shit today. Hey, we're doing that shit today. Well, where is she? I don't fucking know. Do it. Yeah. I don't know. She told me don't do shit, but she's not here now, so I'm in charge. So be- I'm in charge. So Fucker. So it's think, like when your parents left you home alone for the first time at 12 or 13. Which, okay, hey, we're going to go to the grocery store. We'll be back in 20 minutes. And you turn to your fucking brother or sister. This hey, is actually, I'm in charge. This is actually a funny part of the episode. After Zane comes and helps him fight the monster. And he takes sh- off. Uh, the monster grows. Well, he doesn't have a sword yet. Yeah. yeah. So he's completely useless at this point. So yeah. He fucks while off. He's, yeah. While he's strong, I mean, what's he going to do? Hit his calf? <laughs> he's, he's, that, like, he's like, all right, I'm out. Is he as important? Oh, you know what? He says, I'm gonna go fuck your sister. <laughs> <laughs> and get this. And they're all like, Where are you going? I got things to do. You guys take it from here. I'd have been like, What do you want me to do? I, I, gotta, I don't have a Zord. I got a fetish. Yep. I got a fetish for mullet babies. <laughs> <laughs> so he takes off. And when he finally gets there, he fucking jumps off his bike. D Morse has flowers. Don't understand that. Were they in his suit? Don't know. Don't care. My guess. Don't care because whatever you care. happen to have. This is true though. Whatever you are carrying, because I'm sure they carry wallets and stuff in their pockets. That seems to somehow become a part of the costume. And you know what? She smiles when she sees him. She smiles like, oh, he's here. Le- lightning. Fucking. He's like, what the fuck? Blows the flowers <laughs> up. Hits his bike. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Yeah, but he I did. did. Hit his bike. Like... He falls into this fucking nasty, dirty water. <laughs> no, it's nasty. Yeah, he gets out. Pond, he he yes. literally looks like he just fell into a fucking pool of shit. Yes. <laughs> he stands up. He's like, "What's your deal?" He's like, "Nobody stands me up." First off, I wouldn't have been late if you wouldn't have sent uh, a monster. I didn't send any monsters. Then who the fuck was I just fighting? I don't be, care. Bye. To be fair, getting stood up means you never show up. Yeah. He showed up late. That's not being stood up. This That's is true. I was late. I'm sorry. Let's continue. You got food there. Hell, the candles haven't even went down yet. Yeah. I, I wasn't that late. Maybe, what, 10, 15 yeah, minutes? If, if you have a candle lit dinner, if the candles go out, that means you were stood the fuck up. You Candles are still there. If the candles are still there, sorry I'm late. Traffic sucked. There you go. I know I'm in the doghouse. I will make this better. Here's roses. Here's candy. Here's some dick. I know you want it. Let's eat. <laughs> and then she's like, I never want to see you again. That's all these fucking last few episodes have been is, ooh, I want some penis. That's all they've been. She wanted some zany penis. In fact, at the end, after she's pissed off, she crumples up his fucking picture and goes to throw it away, and then uncrumples it and looks at it like, oh, I still want that. Yeah. The only thing that gave me any other form of, like, she doesn't want the dick is after she uncrumples it, she kind of gets this, like, cocky smile on her face. Like, hey... He might still want me. Maybe I can use that to my advantage and be like, Hey, look, some space titties. Come over here. Dead. (laughs) Well, the next episode is uh, 24. This is called Zane's Destiny. Oh, this one. Now, this is where they're on a planet. Uh, It's a terrible planet. God, that planet sucks. Uh, uh, Sandstorm. Sandstormy planet. All the time. It's where they dropped Khan. Yeah. Oh, they had to be careful. Luckily, they didn't find him, or the uh, Khan had been in the mega ship. That's because right. Khan is on the other side of that stupid storm, right? Yeah. Fucking in a cargo bay. Uh, what was that? Uh, City Alpha Five. This is City Alpha Five. Yep. Oh, we're back. My bad. My bad. I'm sorry, guy. So the Earth Rangers <laughs> get captured by some military group. <laughs> I love putting Star Trek and Star Wars in these in this series, of, of right? Because it's in space. To it, be you, fair, they stole an awful lot from it. They went to the Dagobah system. Yeah, I mean, you can't steal any harder. They got a holodeck. It's true. Yeah. The Dagobah system. They're stealing from they, everything. Well, it's because they were like, guys, this series is in space. They're just missing a TARDIS. That's what, all. What took place in space? Star Trek, Star Wars. Yeah, let's do that. 
Take yeah. some. But to be fair, it works. I mean, it's, it's I like I, I find it humorous when I see references from other sci-fi shows. To be fair, they don't reference hard enough to make it a uh, a parody, so I'm fine with it. Right. So yeah. So Zane and um um the two lone wolves best buddies are down there on the planet while the rest of the team is up there getting ready to go down to the planet, yep. but those guys yep. took off already. Right. And then um, once they get I'm down, I'm not going to call them out this time because, because uh, now, uh, this could be very much uh, broken into search party recon. It's like it's a right. recon mission, is yeah. what it is. Yeah, and a they, recon. They you find, don't take twenty guys with you. Yeah, it's literally they find two energy sources. Oh, well, one of these has to be Zordon. Here, you guys go to go to one. And we'll get our shit ready and go to the other. Hey guys, why can't you just scan this and tell us how far off we are? Scanners aren't picking it up. We're gonna go well, to check fair, the other one. Andros's lone wolf days are almost done. He's getting. Uh, I, I start to realize that he starts getting better, but because if you're paying attention, a lot of the other guys are starting to follow TJ. I yep. think there is a split in the team, and it does actually like this episode shows it. They went down on recon one. Everybody else. Went down Opted on to recon go with TJ. Two. Yep. So when they all get captured, let's be real. Who do they turn to? And TJ's the one calling the shots when they get captured. Uh, it makes plenty of sense. He is literally second. Even in after command. Andro- even after, even after Andros spies, and them got there, they, Andros and them got there, and Andros was not going to drop the bomb. And TJ was like, "I'm tired of this bullshit." You know what? He steps forward. We're not spies. We are Power Rangers. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. They know what we are. That's what we are. And they're like, no. No, fuck that, because fucking uh, goop on the wall. Yeah. I found a vial in your pocket. Now there's goop on the wall. That's not mine. But, yeah. So, like, he was he was the first one to at least do something, where Andros was very much just like, mm, guess we're going to jail. <laughs> but... But they take off their fucking their fucking shit, and they're like, Zane, Andros? That's after they escape, and then they're like, oh, no, they fucking, they took out the main leader who was actually intelligent yep, enough to yep, go, yep, hey, yep. we're not just going to kill these motherfuckers. That's when so they that, show, that was their put king. them in jail. They, they, that was the king that got That's uh, when Zane and Andros show up, and they take their thing off, and that's when they realize that these people are from KO-35. Right. The yeah. ref- some of the ref- I don't know if it's some or all the it's refugees. Some. No, I, there's a couple of them that are there that are from KO-35. Yeah. KO thir- when KO-35 was attacked, everybody got into a ship and went, get the fuck out. Yeah. And they all went to different parts of the galaxy. Mm-hmm. So not ev- not everybody's there because Andros' parents are not there. Yeah. Right. So while some kind of battle is going on. But to, to talk about that part that we just did, um, Zane... And Andros were not there, but I honestly do not think, for the life of me, that Andros was going to drop the bomb. No. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We're literally about to get executed. I've got one shot. We are not spies. We are Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. And you guys have heard about the Power Rangers. We're good people. Let us go. Right. And that guy's like, <laughs> twist, spinning his, I wish he would have spent his fucking. Snidely whip <laughs> yeah. twist the mustache. Twist yeah. the mustache. Ooh, what is this? I found this vial on one of them. It makes coral people. And they're all like, hmm, that does make sense. Hmm. And then the king was like, yeah, no, 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 no. It doesn't necessarily make no. sense. Let's do yeah. let's do this the right fucking way. Yeah, exactly. let's have an actual fucking And then trial. when he sees that dude talking to Dark, Dark, Spe- uh, Dark, Dark Spectre. Spectre. Dark Spectre, he's like, yes. ah, you're the spy. He's like, I guess I am. Coral yeah. man now. Get him, man. Get him, Coral monster. I I, this episode would have been 100 times better if that man would have just kept twir- twirling his fucking mustache. Right. I'm saying right that right now, it would have right. been great. But instead, now we get a giant monster, and because he, Zane has nothing better to do, because no Zord, Zane chases after yeah, the bad. He's going to chase after Let's the be real. who turns into I, Dark I'm, Honda. I am kind of crippled. You guys have a big robot. I don't. Yeah. So I'll do the, all the. Even stuff. though you guys have three big robots, like I maybe want, I could. Nope, I don't want that. I want my. Yeah, own. I could get a big robot. I want a silver one. Well, that, but he would, doesn't know that's even in the cards. Yeah, he doesn't that, know that. But I, I do think it's funny that they're like, "Yeah, we got three big robots, Zane." Yeah. Yep, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, can I use one? 
Oh, well, see, oh, well, yeah, here's the no. thing, Zane. Uh, one is 40% automated, and it's it's ours. The other one has no automation, and, and it's ours. And the other one is fully automated, and it's it, it's it's technically nobody's. Can I use the one that's nobody's? It's a fully automated. Can I just sit it's in not it? for you. Can I just sit in it? No. No. Because you need, the, it, you then need it the controller, be, and, then it would be 50%, and I got the controller. Then it would be 50% What if automated? I just sit there and don't touch anything? Ooh, yeah, but then if it blows up, you would die, and I'd feel bad. So just, and we kind of needed to augment our one that's like 40% automated. Plus, it's always good to just have a guy that's, you know, down here with the so, people. So, just, so, so speaking of Zane and with people, he decides to stay with the refugees while they because try to find... Because he never got a big robot because they shit no. on him. Because, you know... It, they are his people. Yeah. Let's go look for other people. Yes. And we can maybe rebuild KO-35 one day. Somewhere, yeah. So, Andros has to say goodbye to his friend again. But... Differently this time. Differently. Yeah, yes. differently. He this, will, this he time will it's see not, his... oh, God, you're going to die. I, I may never see you again. It's I'll see you in like a month. Yeah. If not sooner. So that's that. Next episode, always a chance. Yeah. Here we go. So My favorite episode, episode of the series. Which starts off in the most ridiculous way. I can switch places. First of all... The lizard is and inside First it. of all, we have Sting Chameleon from fucking Mega Man X <laughs> that just so happens to have an RGA cable, which, by the way, RGA cable <laughs> not is for your monitor, it does not, not for yeah, data transfer. You cannot transfer... Da- well, okay, Dumbass. It transfers data, but not in a way that you can retrieve it and save it. Right. Yeah, it's, it doesn't work that way. It's It's visual, not... Yeah. Kids show, they don't care. I know. But we still. care because we're older and we're like, that makes no sense. That's <laughs> true. But as a kid, also, I promise you, you weren't being like, ooh, that cable's not used like that. Oh, no, but uh, hold on, no, because now we've come all the way around because kids nowadays wouldn't know what the fucking RGA cable is. For Christ's sakes, to jump ahead, fucking Bulk and Skull and the professor in the middle, oh my god, a payphone, just like on Earth. A do what now? You know, actually, uh-huh. now that I think about it, what was that? It does, it, it is kind of funny. I don't think... Oh, they, they finally show up in an episode. Yeah. In this episode, they I finally show I up. Have, I don't think I have a computer that even uses an RGA. Or, 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 yeah, I don't, I don't even have a, Do you? And, yeah, it's I do. because they're out of date. They don't use them anymore. Yeah. No, mine only uses it for the monitor. And technically, I can Why? hook an HDMI I mean, up to it. Nowadays, monitors come with an HDMI and a display port. Yeah. You yeah. don't need the other one anymore. Yeah, no, that but cable that's, is, that's because mine, when I bought it, was uh, some, late Some 2000s. do for printers. Some have hookups for printers. They do. Yeah, I mean, they're, printer, they're, they printer still have RGA, them, yeah. but if you're buying a brand new monitor, brand new, just came out, it's going to have a display port, HDMI. And it's going to be from Apple for $6,000 fucking dollars. <laughs> Stand, Stand not, not included. included. You do realize, that, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something, if any one of you, if any one of you decide to ever buy that monitor, my foot... Will go so far in your testicles, they'll spit them out. I can't afford the stand, Shane. Yeah, yeah, you can't afford the, the stand. The stand is a fucking thousand dollars on its own. <laughs> Seven thousand dollars if you'd like to have a new monitor. <laughs> Fuck Apple. Uh, why would I do that when I just go buy? I would yeah, buy myself I'm a hundred go- inch TV. Yeah, I'm gonna go buy me a fucking big TV for about. You could buy a motherfucking car. Yeah. Your wife's car you could make, was less you could than make, that monitor. And yeah. that car does more than the monitor because I can't ride the monitor places. There are fucking houses you that you can make a down payment. <laughs> you can break the motherfucker. Well, when we use it as like a fucking sled, i got to yeah, use sure. the full 7000 out of this bitch. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, do you do you ever feel like you get your money's worth after you buy your $7,000 fucking monitor stand not included? I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I'll tell you something, with all that, with a $7,000 complete package, I'm sitting there playing my games. What, this picture this, this picture is beautiful. Not $7,000 beautiful, but it's beautiful. You better, you better, you better, this fucking monitor better make me food and suck my dick. Your yeah. eyes it better, better have... It better rub my balls and make me pancakes. That's what your, I'm telling your you. fucking eyes better have <laughs> orgasms with every graphic. <laughs> Oh my god, that bead of sweat is so realistic. <laughs> I, oh, I orgasm. Look, the only thing that I'll give it, because it's literally a $7,000 monitor plus the $1,000 for the stand, is they said it's a 6K monitor. A true 6K monitor. True I'll 6K. I'll kind of give it that, but I'm going to wait for the fucking price to drop. You want to know why? <laughs> because fuck your 6K. There are games out there that are now just getting 4K, and now you want 6K? 
Right. We ain't there yet. We'll be there. In a, I, I Apple's think, there. Apple's a joke. Yeah, no <laughs> shit. They're the ones that want you to spend 8K on a fucking Some, monitor plus stand. And somebody will do it. I know people yeah, will do people it. Yeah, people will. Stupid people. It's got a fucking apple on it. I, don't, I can fucking paint an apple on it. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the same. It's not going to be the same because fucking Steve Jobs' name isn't attached to it. So his ass can roll over in his grave because his company became greedy fucks. Because any moron, and I do mean any moron, can pick up an Apple product and fucking use it. That's why your grandma has an iPhone. Because it's so simplistic that your hundred-year-old grandma who hates technology will use it. Uh. Well, anyway, so anyway. So uh, the monster switches places with Cassie and Carlos accidentally swipes at Hits uh, her in the shoulder with his lunar lance. Yes. And yes. Carlos is taking this. Yes, Carlos too is hard. taking it. To be fair, it's, it's like yeah, it's, too, it's like what happens if like you I were doing. S- I can't say it's too hard. I would think of maybe this. Let uh, me let me put it to you this way: You've got a gun aimed at a bad guy. The bad guy switches it around, and you shoot your girlfriend in the shoulder. You're gonna feel real bad. Are you gonna feel like a dick because you shot your girlfriend in the shoulder? Yeah, but not for as long as Carlos is. Uh, true, but he was only he was only mad for a little while. Yeah, he was only mad for like. Yeah, but then he chickens out of giving up his powers because of it. Is it, it chickening out? It, it shook just, him. I've been making yeah. the argument that Andros should step down from leadership. He 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 has fucked up too many times. He should he should say, "Look, TJ, I will advise you. You should be the leader." I've been saying that. I don't think it's chickening out necessarily, but look, if he really doesn't feel, I'm g- I respect his decision on I said one Carlos merit. Carlos chickening out. Right. I know, and I respect his decision on one merit. If you are not in a situation where literally billions of lives are at stake, if you're and not you are not emotionally prepared. and mentally sound to handle that kind of responsibility, he, fair, you should step down. Carlos yeah. showed leadership here. It's like in Star Trek. If the captain is emotionally compromised, what is it? Star- he should not be calling the shots. And yeah. that happens. Would you follow Decker on the Doomsday Machine episode? Oh, no. God. No? Because he was emotional. Because- he d- he's not chicken shit. He's still putting it out there. He's willing to fire phasers. He's, he's emotional. not willing to think. And But see, that's just it. Carlos is willing to think. And right now, he knows... That where his mindset is, he's, he's going to kill somebody or get somebody killed. He's useless. And let's be honest, Carlos is great. There are proof, in fact, by the fact that we've gone 30 fucking years with Power Rangers, there are many kids out there who can take his place. Yep. Now, he's not them. special in the grand scheme of the cosmos. He's a so, soldier. After yep. Carlos is... Carlos is standing at this at the warehouse where they he's fought. He's hanging out at the warehouse. And he's yeah. just lost in thought. And he sees Bulk he's Skull. He's in debate right now yeah, as yeah. to whether or not he should even be doing this. So then he all of a sudden he sees Bulk it Skull and the professor. He's the kind of guy, we've argued this, he runs in, he takes the attack, he's bullheaded, he's the champion, he's the hero. He likes that attitude. That's yeah. how he plays soccer. It's how he fucking fights as a ranger. Let's fucking do it, guys. I'm the first one with my weapon. Well, that yeah. attitude has worked great until he, he was the first guy to jump and, and he, he didn't see it through and then all of a sudden she body switched and rather than pulling back, he didn't have that mentality. He swung right through and yep. if he would have messed up, say he aimed for her chest, it's obvious he called physical damage through the powers. He could have killed her. If he would have cracked her sternum, yeah. yeah. So while he's sitting there thinking, debating on what to do, all of a sudden he hears screaming, Bolt, Skull, and the professor come running. <clears throat> the chameleon's chasing him. Yeah, now the, he knows. The, the dumbest name ever, the Liz Wizard. Now he literally has a choice. Okay? He physically sees people in danger that could die. And he could be the cause of them. And now he sits there and he debates. He's like, come on. Come on, I can do this. He realizes that the other guys might yeah, take some says, time to get I there. I could do this, but should I do this? Should I do this? And he's like, they need my help. Yes, he should they, be doing it. In his yes. mind. Yes, but in his mind, it's either he is I go down there and I accidentally kill Bulk and Skull and the Professor, 
or I could go down there and try to save them and hope to God they they're smart enough to run the fuck away. So it's just Case me in, and this dude. Case in point that he is still afraid, even when he goes out there, he's under the impression that he can hurt them. He doesn't use his weapon. Yep. Yeah. He is he is often seen with that weapon more often than not. And, and here's he the went thing. out to fight that lizard, there were three people. They could have been in the crossfire. He chose not to use the weapon. And, finally, and he cannot fight this monster without that weapon. And when yep. he finally decides to morph and jumps down there, he tells the doctor, and the professor, and Bulk and Skull, go. I got this. Go. Get out. Go. I can't handle it while you're here. Yeah. And then the monster and him have a fight, which he gets wrecked. Yep. Because he chose not to use the weapon. So then all of a sudden, some sa- our savior is here. Yep. Adam our, comes out of nowhere. Our Lord nowhere. and Savior, Adam. Kicks that fucking monster, and he's like, let's do this, man. I helps Carlos up, and he's like, Adam, awesome. And Adam, not now more. That's the guy that that's the guy that chose him and trusted him, taught him a little yes. bit. No. Now, now the monster's like, oh, my God, I got, I got two people. So fighting, Carlos is still actually getting thrown around. I want you to realize that. Yeah, he's Carlos getting is getting around. his ass But Adam, not more. If you're watching, though, Adam is not physically able to defeat the monster but he's but able, every attack but he's he does the map bay. every attack precise. he does is designed to put him at a distance where he can't be fought back and even when he fights the quantrons he can't win but if you watch real close when he does a kick he'll do a kick and buck his body away or yep. he'll like under he'll like duck under one of their hits and hit them and knock them to the side or but he'll every, do a fucking sweep kick where he can roll out of the way yeah cuz he takes the four guys down behind him and then goes to where their positions were his attacks are designed to make sure that he can't be counterattacked cuz he can't win that fight but he actually puts up a great fight against this lizard. I think that is very smart. And whoever did the choreography on this episode really deserves a thumbs up because the Black Ranger that's morphed just fights. He didn't yep. have to worry about it. The man, who's Has- just a man, he doesn't get swatted around. Like, we've seen that in other episodes where I'm like, how did that monster not slap the fucking head off your shoulders? Yep. But Adam in did- this, they didn't do that. Every move he made was designed to keep him alive while keeping them which at bay. Is yep. ma- which is why I told you that I think Adam could, even if it's only to a standstill, could fight Tommy and Jason to a standstill because he's brilliant when he fights. Yeah, right. I think strategically he's probably better than we've seen, especially with this one fight that we got to right. watch here. He's real, he's real good. He, the monster never hit him because he wouldn't be able to handle it. But he was able to keep the monster away from not only him and Carlos. Now, when that right. monster gets his hands on him, He's fucked. Yes. Yeah. Because we do see that in this episode, too. So they didn't make him superhuman. He's literally not even augmented anymore. No. He's just he's just smart enough to know how to fight at a he's been a ranger for He's been a ranger for years. He exactly. knows what he's doing. Exactly. But now, now we get to move on to everybody, like all the villains, fuck off. Followed by, man, I'm glad you were here to help me. I'm really having some troubles. I accidentally hit, you know, uh, fucking Cassie in the arm. Oh, well, that sucks. Here, let me help you. Now we got to go to Future Scott. Future Scott, turn in the montage. montage. <laughs> Time for a training a montage. montage. It made me wonder how much time passes here. I want to say it'd be just a couple of days. Because Cassie, when, when they were back on the ship yeah. and Cassie had the sling on, she said, she a said it would days. take a couple yeah, it's days. It's going to take a couple days. And so she's yeah. healed. And they do change clothes a couple of times during this. I think, I think it's only two, three days tops. I think we're looking right. at a week max. That's a maximum max. I think we're saying seven days at the very max. Carlos did quit. Yeah. Well, he, he walked off. I did like the whole blindfolding thing. That pissed me off, though, because they're doing the blindfolded training, but then you have Alpha. Come on, Carlos! Come on, Carlos! You can do it! Shut up! I need to use my ears! The whole idea of that was to try to teach Carlos, um, you're relying on your superficial senses. You see it, you attack, you run, you're blind during your attack. You need to. So you need to learn to feel out your attack. And let me tell you something. Blindfolded or not, Carlos has got them. No chance of fighting Adam. <laughs> true. Right. Adam would end. If Adam was a ranger, Adam would end Carlos. Yes. Carlos is a good fighter. Don't get me wrong. He's a good ranger. I like Carlos. I never had a problem with Carlos. Well, I mean, technically speaking, then the roles get reversed. He's a background ranger. To be fair, he gets the least amount. He he gets the least amount. Yes, I I feel like he's a background character in terms of the rangers in general. He's one of those guys that can easily fall into the past and we would forget about him. But during the time we've spent with him, I've had no reason to dislike him. 
he's a good ranger. I mean, mm-hmm. he is. And, you know, he's doing this thing, and, and Adam, even blindfolded, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can sit there and say, well, he was blindfolded. Like, no, that's Adam. Yeah. In he fact, was like, this is his best kicking. moment. This really is. Everything that, yep. and, and everything that he ever got, Carlos, this is his best episode, his best moment, this his most his memorable time. scene. Yeah. This episode is all about him. Right. Every ranger gets that. Every ranger gets one episode that's really about them. TJ had the I have amnesia. Yep. Cassie had the bug one with the right. Bu- Ashley had a couple one with her fucking grandma, mm. and her and I know the the body switching yeah, episode. Yeah, and then the body switching. Uh, Andros has a lot of episodes about him, but he's because that's because it's technically this is his series. It's his series, yes. Um, but Carlos, what episode? You got turned into a bug first. Yeah. Okay. That just means that you got attacked first. That is not not about you because Cassie right. shortly followed. Yeah. Right. This is your episode. This is your time to shine. And you're sharing it with Adam, which is fine because he's the one right. that gave you the power. He trusted you to be the next uh, green Turbo Ranger. Right. Now you're the Black Ranger. Well, he used but, to be the Black Ranger. Isn't that kind of curious? It is yeah. kind of interesting how what yeah. he passed on, passed he, on twice. Yes. Yeah. I was the Black Ranger. Now you're the Black Ranger. I know what it's like to be a Ranger. I've had my doubts. I, I've I, We've all made mistakes. I've made right. my own mistakes. And he's training them, and Carlos just can't do it. Right. He runs off and so Adam... So Carlos says, fuck it, I'm done, I'm out. Because he even pulls out the... You know, that's when he has a... The Morpher. He pulls out the Mighty the Morpher. Morpher. He's like, you think this like, like, How How huh. is the Morpher and the coin existing? I'll tell existing? you. Because that is a Mastodon coin. That's how. Yep. I thought the Mastodon coin was destroyed the by Goldar. The one that was destroyed by Goldar was, ba- was during the time that they were saying... Okay. Thunder. They were Thunder. The, oh, wait. Uh, the Mastodon were coins the were changed... That was the ninja era. Yes, when it was finally destroyed, destroyed, they were no longer saying Mastodon. They were putting their arms out, and they would say, what did they say, like uh, Black Ranger power, yep. White yep. Ranger power. Yep. They were ninjas. But yep. They had received the, the ninja coins. How's because the reason, the reason they had to go for the ninja coins in the first place is because the Mighty Morphin powers were damaged. Yep. Not destroyed, Damage. That's why the coins cracked. Yep. Hmm. But he, he kept it and he... Then he, they went and got new coins. And he looked at it and he's They like, went and they got the power. They went the and they power. saw a whistle stick bitch who lives from no, Stone No, that's Engine. the movie. Oh, yeah, that's the movie. Yeah, it's not this, canon. Because you're talking season three. Because season one, <laughs> that's Rangers. Season yeah. two, Thunder. Thunder. Season, season three, three ninjas. ninjas. Season, season three four. happens because season two saw the damaging... Of those powers. And yep. that's why he asked, you think this thing still works? And Alpha's like, Adam, you can never use that morpher. The, the, power, the power coins were destroyed. Now the coins <clears throat> were completely obliterated under the ninja powers. They were literally turned to dust. Yep. And Goldar, ha <laughs> yeah. bitches. Which is why we had to Zeo. So, anyway, he... Um, he, you know, uh, Alpha tells him, you can never use that. It, the, the power could destroy you. Followed by Carlos quits. Carlos comes back. Carlos goes up oh, back. Oh, no, up. Carlos, you're going to die. Hey, well, this power could kill me. Fuck it. I'm a black ranger. Mastodon. I'm rush in. It's morphin' time. Well, there's, it, the, the scene works really well. Yep. He Adam saw that monster. He also saw, because remember, Carlos did say, I quit. And he looked at his wrist. No morpher. Yep. Morpher was gone. That monster shows up, and he's now fighting Carlos. And he looks, and Carlos is having Carlos Morpher. is just human he's now. He's human right now. And he's getting in destroyed. Fact, in fact, the monster even says, oh, you're just a human now. Thus yeah. going with the whole thing that we've laid down for every fucking one of these. No Morpher, no augmentation, no even extra the, strength, even no the extra dexterity, to no realize nothing. It. Here's the monsters the seem to realize that there is a difference between a kid holding a morpher and a kid who's a kid. Now, yep. Now Adam d- makes a choice. He sees his friend getting wrecked. He has no communicator. Neither does Carlos now. I can't call them. There is no help. I can't no. get to... What am I going to do? Hey, It's hey. true that if he would have held out for like fucking five minutes, not even that. Two minutes. Yeah. yeah three attacks. But here's the thing. He but he kn- didn't know. He didn't know. He had no way of knowing and that Carlos they were on the Carlos is my way. friend. I have to do something. Well, I'm the only one in the vicinity with a morpher. And he'd been trying to fight. He can't 
hurt these damn so things. He, he can knock them down. They get back up. So Adam is like, you know what? I got to save my friend, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try it. It's morphin, it's, morphin time. It's morphin time. He fucking flips it over. The old school fucking. I love that they yeah. put that in there real quick. Yeah. Master Don. And then he freaking yeah. morphs, and he's like, oh look, it worked. Kind of. Kind of. So he's like, now. No, no. It worked, but then it keeps fading where, where, the, suit, where the Black Ranger suit is over here and Adam's kind of over here yeah, by like but six that inches. Suit, but that suit looked great. Yeah. Now that we're actually doing it, this, this was an American episode. It was and that good. was very much a suit that we had that we could yeah. film with our cameras. It looked great. It did. Yep. And Adam freaking jumps in and tells Carlos to run. I've got this. And Carlos runs. Then he stops. He stops. He's singing. And because he looks back and he sees that Adam's like, oh, shit. He's like, I can't run. That's my friend out there. I may not be, I may not have my powers, but you know what? Fuck it. Let's kick a lizard in the face. <laughs> Let's kick a lizard in the face. And then, of course, the other rangers show up, give him his morpher. And like I said, this is his episode. And, and that situation comes up again, but this time with Adam in his morphed form instead of Cassie. This time, he was a little slower and a little more thought out. Yep. And he's like, wait a minute. He's like, time to switch. And he sees Adam. He, he wasn't see- just blindly attacking like a shark. He sees Adam and tra- uh, switch spots with him and the uh, guy. And he's like, okay, jump on your shoulders. Not this time, bitch. Fool me once. That's all you get. And then, you know. And this is the case where they finish off the monster with just the base yep. Astro Megazord. And because you know it's it's the Rangers episode when they get to call the Astro Megazord. He, he gets to call it. He yeah. gets to call yeah. it because it's his episode. And and, and that's when Adam's powers finally give out. And he's like, well, shit. Wish I could have called my Mastodon. That would have been cool. I, that really would have been cool. Yeah. I mean, it would have been slow and it could shoot ice breath and be slow because the rest are not there to transform. But it still would have been neat. I know they couldn't do it. That's just nostalgic of seeing the black. Shane, my phone's at 16%. But yeah. Next episode. Yeah, move on. Next episode. The secret of the locket. Now, this is where they finally realize that uh, oh, Andros, yeah. Andros yeah. realizes that Astronomer is his sister. Yeah, Astronomer. Yeah, there, there's the same a, person, there's an yeah. attack that happens. Astronomer actually stops a quantron because there's about to attack a family, some children. Yeah, yeah. there's about to attack a mom and her two kids, and she destro- and she destroys it. Yeah. But, Here's the thing. Yeah. Slowly but surely, she's been coming around. Yeah. Now, I figured it out. We've actually been told this before, that people that are good cannot be kept bad. It is actually impossible in this universe for whatever reason. You know who told us this? Rita. You know how she told us this? Because she made Tommy evil. Seen him out on a couple of missions, then got to talking with Goldar and said, I'm going to have to give him the Sword of Darkness. And he says, that's right. With a catalyst that powerful, you could keep him evil forever. Yep. Signifying that whatever these spells are or these brainwashing techniques, if they're meant to be good guys in this universe, they will eventually, one way or another, become good guys. Now, somebody that's incredibly trained in magic knows this and knows it well. But somebody that's not... Like Dark Specter, who just employs powerful wizards, doesn't know it. So he uses a brainwash technique and says, I got her, she's mine forever. Well, we're not there yet. But we are. Well, because she is coming around. She is, she is starting no. to see things that she thinks are evil no, and I'm she's talk, stepping against I'm talking them. about the brainwashing thing. That's a little bit later. Well, no, the, the, the it's already been done. is later. So. She cybernetic. is brainwashed right now. Well, she gets more... But it's not yeah. keeping. She, she's she's getting conflicted. Yes. In this universe, if you're a good guy, yeah. that's what you fucking are. Rita told us, even with my magic, Tommy can't stay a bad guy. No. I can't hold him. I need a powerful dark catalyst that will keep him under my control. And that was the dark... Yeah. Here's the sword of darkness. Dark, yeah. Whereas astronomer is brainwashed because of fucking Stockholm Syndrome. Yes. Hey... I found you as a baby. I raised you from when you were a little teeny tiny child all the way up to fucking now as the fucking princess, queen, ultimate, evil, whatever the fuck I told you the fuck to be. And because of this, because of the universe that we live in where we don't ever stay psychologically damaged for long, 
She's recovering because good guys has to be good guys. Yep. There's no gray area in Power Rangers. Just like when all of a sudden the bad guy is no longer a bad guy, he must be a good guy. Correct. We forgive him. It's good, so good, good she person. is starting to come around. And imagine, mm-hmm. imagine as the princess of evil, how many, how many worlds has she destroyed? How many people have died crushed under the weight of her boots, her armies, probably, her power? Probably millions. And you know what? Since she's since she's Coron, notice that's another thing about good guys and bad guys in this universe. When 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 we finally drop this "I'm a bad guy" thing, mm-hmm. she'll become Coron, and yep. nothing she ever did in her past will matter. Anymore. It won't matter because it, all is forgiven I because know. of the next series. You can't be a Power Ranger if you're bad. Yeah. yeah, she becomes the Power Ranger. Yeah, in fact, I've even got notes that even state it. If you read through my notes, when she's Crone, I write her as Crone. When she's Astronomer, I write her as Astronomer. It's almost like she has a split personality. It's like Darth Vader. Yes. yes. And there's the light side of the Force and the dark side of the Force. There's and everything Vader is and fucking there's black Anakin. and white. Va- uh, Astronomer is dark, Crone is light. That's and the kind of universe that we are pulling apart. Yes. And it's starting right now. It's it, been it, starting it's, for a while. It started when it really started to show when Zane came around. Yeah, the, the, yeah. the, the whole date thing. Like and... before that, she didn't care. Is that, I think you were seeing small traces. Very small. When Zane came around and he liked her, that was when all everything stopped. She didn't want to attack him. She's like, "Don't attack him. I got things to do. I got a date." Bad guys? With a Power Ranger, m- mind you. I have a date with a Power Ranger. And even he realizes that, though. Even even uh, uh, Ecliptor realizes that when he fucking tells her straight out, um, I'm a bad guy. I will always be a bad guy. There's no hope for me ever becoming a good guy. Everything I do, no matter what, is self-serving. I was built evil. You were born good. We're born, we're born, born good. Born. And he keeps telling her, are you, are you becoming good? And she's like, no. And he's like, okay, because... Here's the one... I mean, he's basically like, because if that shit is happening, we're going to have to do something about it because you can't be good. I don't... See, I'm seeing something else. Yes, there's no honor in Ecliptor. We already discussed that. He is bad. And maybe at first, raising an astronomer was self-serving. Yes. I think he likes her as a daughter, but still, at the I same know. time, it is very self-serving. It is, it is. But he does actually care for her. Yes. That is a given. And I think he, when, he, when he's like, are you becoming good? Because I, I, I couldn't bear that. Uh, he can't be good. No, he can't. He tells her basically he right there, if you're turning good, we might have to do something about that because I would have to, I'm a bad guy. I would have to destroy you. That's right. all I am. I'm a bad guy. You know, it's what I am. And then it gets worse I, I, because I, I, after that, then they go down to the planet to start, you know, the whole fight. And he even says, look, you're never going to find your brother. You're never going to find your mom. You're never going to find your dad. They're dead. As far as anybody's concerned, they're dead and the Rangers killed them. But he so, already knows that's bullshit. Yeah. So if he was so fucking honorable... Which is why as soon as they go down to the planet and she sees everybody about to fucking be killed, she's like, oh no, that family. Nope. Not letting that happen. Fuck, I lost it. <laughs> Sorry. And it, th- that is one of the things that triggers her, is she is starting to wake up. She's starting to have dreams about a life that she had. She's starting oh, to realize that yeah. she was a good person. Uh, what I was going to say was, shouldn't Astronma have put in place... If something ever happened to her in any way, shape, or form, her second in command would take over no matter what. In terms of the bad guys we've seen so far, I would say no. Because no. Rita did not actually have a second in command. She had a trained, she had a warrior she trusted, Goldar. And then um, Zed did not have a second in command. Even Rita was not his second in command. They don't think that through. Yeah. And then the Machine Empire. When he died, it created a power vacuum because he also had no replacement. It didn't go to his wife. Right. Some Louis Kaboom bomb motherfucker showed up because there the was other a hole there. Showed up too. And yeah, so like, yeah. there's just they just you are very would... much. I'm the yeah. emperor. Because because if where... I die, everything's done. Yeah. Everything's done. Because that's the reason why it is. All of a sudden, Dark Spectre turns to fucking Dark Honda and goes, "Hey, I want you to take control of the ship." 
Yes, I will destroy the Rangers until we get Astronema back. What? She's a traitor! Traitor! Yeah, kill but her! I, I, no, I'm going to fucking like, fix that because there's no. only one fucking monarch here. Right. But anyway, um, so the locket... Oh no 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 no! We gotta get we gotta get Andros doing his lone wolf thing and running away from the party that needs his help. He did. Yeah, he was right in the middle of a fight, commanding his troops on the battlefield. Dark Honda. He didn't even inform them that Dark Honda was there. He said nothing. He was just like, "They got it." Fuck it. Oh, and by the way, that's another interesting thing that's been playing in the background that we haven't really talked about. And we're not going to spend a lot of time on it other than to say, proving once again this whole he's not a fucking honorable guy. Um, she thinks that Dark Spectre, or she thinks that Dark Honda is dead. Yeah. She's thought him dead since the poison. Yep. She does not realize that behind her back, under her nose, her main guy has been fighting a war against this other dude that she had told them, if I'm to succeed, I need fucking both of you. But Ecliptor has a personal, yeah. personal grudge yes. against Darkonda. Yeah. Darkonda has a personal, personal grudge against Ecliptor. And these two cannot... Darkonda has not been revealed to Astronema. She still thinks he's dead, and Ecliptor has said nothing because he needs the freedom of her not knowing so he can follow his own evil ambition. Once again, dishonorable. And, again, if you want to give it, oh, well, he saved fucking Andros. No. No, he fucking didn't. No, he didn't. No, he wanted to get rid of Dark Honda. Yeah. Thank you. He, he pulls him out of the of way Dark because Honda. the enemy of my he, enemy he is saw my Dark friend. Honda set up the traps earlier. And yes. he knew where that trap was. And he was like, "Oh, this! Oh, I'm this watch Red Ranger's this play a fucking out. moron! All right, let me uh, let me step in here." He's only like, "Listen," and he even told the dude, "He's like, you saved my life," and he's like, "No, no, everybody no, gets not. one." No, he 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 yeah. doesn't even admit to anything. He says, "No, I didn't." And he's like, "The next time we meet, fun to kill you." No, yeah. and then he walked away from the situation. He did not save the Red Ranger. On purpose. Yes, on purpose, but... Not in meaning to? I mean, he was meaning to destroy Dark He was using the Red Ranger as a weapon. Hmm. Yeah. Because if if, uh, Dark Honda was an idiot, Dark Honda would step on his own trap, and he knew that, and used it. And he used the Red Ranger to make that happen. But because the Red Ranger was—it just going, so happens the plus, Red Ranger was a tool. He wasn't being saved. Yeah. Plus, not to mention the fact of again, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. I've seen you kill my enemy as several times now. If he kicks your ass, I could step in and fucking knock him down. If he kicks my ass, you could step in and take him. Down. I don't like you. We need this. You don't like gone. me, but we have one one thing in common. We don't like him. We don't yeah. like him. I will help you. I'm bad. I hate. Yeah. I'm evil. But our goals line metal. up. I love metal and worship Satan. You're a ch- you're a Bible thumping you know church goer. But both of us hate pineapple on pizza. Let's destroy pineapple on pizza first. When it's done, I hate. Then you. Then we'll go back to I hate each you. other. So this is where Andros goes one on one against Astronma, and the ne- her necklace goes flying. Yes. Yep. And then after a big old giant battle, he goes down and finds the necklace, and yeah, it's the he... same pictures as a- Andros's. Yeah, where did you get this necklace? I've always had it. Which I don't then know you're why my sister. I don't know why they wouldn't have taken that shit away from her when she was a kid. Right. I mean, I guess they used it as a as a point to be like, this These was your brother. Your, the Rangers yep, killed him, and he's him. he's gone because Rangers are douchebags. And she still thinks it's a stupid trick because the Rangers killed my parents and my brother. Mm-hmm. But I am your brother, and I'm a Ranger. No, that's not true. It can't be. Search your feelings. Trust me, that you is know it that is true. more that is more real than you can possibly imagine. Because that thing we talked about earlier, when I finally got to meet back up with my sister, she's under the influence that that guy that she lived with is the best guy in the world. Yep. You're just some goddamn stranger. I actually am. She does not realize, does not realize for the life of her, she asked me, 
what happened. She said, she said to me when I met her when she was 24, she said, can I ask you a question? And I said, you can ask me whatever you want, but I'm very honest. I'll warn you up front. And she said, why did my mother abandon me? Hmm. That is honestly what she thinks happened. She is too young to know how that scenario actually played out when we were kids. Bill told her the truth. I Uh, told her the truth, which is the reason I have very little to no communication with her now. I know this because... Because I I am a liar. I was with him. Right. when When Bill met his sister for the first time, I met his sister for the first time. That's true. Yeah. We were in Chicago. I he went, was with me. Yep. So I met her one time. I met his nephew one time. No, I haven't seen her in years. Yeah. So it, it is it, a it, weird it was scenario. Not, I'm not, I'm not but, it, but that kind of Stockholm syndrome shit is you real. Were, you were with Michelle, correct? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. Me and Michelle, that was kind of awkward for us because like, these two have not seen each other in like 20 years. Mm-hmm. And so like me and her were like off to the side, like, let them have their moment. Because this is really weird. Like, for me, I've always known my brother. Right. Yeah. You know, he's never known his sister, really. <clears throat> so let them have him in. It was really weird. And then, you know, I after everything was said and done, I had to ask him, like, well, how'd it go? And he really couldn't even give me an answer. I was like, I don't know. She asked me some questions. I gave her some answers, and I don't know what's going to come of it. And as of yet, I've probably talked to her once a year, maybe. Right. Maybe. Maybe one and of the... she showed up for two hours during my wedding. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. You one. met, you finally, and got she to sat at a yeah. table in the far yeah, corner. Yeah, because that's when I finally got to meet her. Because before that, I knew of her in high school because Bill would find her every now and again on like Facebook or MySpace or High Five or whatever social media at the time, and they'd talk for like a week or two, and then it's a strange then, thing. Then oh, he I'm... would he would cut us off. Yeah. He would find out that she had a number or something like that, and he would find, he would, it, it, it's he fucked would up. He purposely find a way to block it. Yes, he would block it, or actually, he even went as far as one time, I got a number for her, and we were, they, they were house phones, that's the way this worked. I know a long time ago, kids, there were these things called house phones, landlines, and I'd have to pick that bitch up and dial another house, he would leave that house. Yep. That's not a joke. I'd talk to her for about a week, I'd get a couple of answers... And he would move out of state. Yep. And we'd have to find him again. And that played out for about 20 fucking years. Yep. And so what she believes is what she believes. And this scenario here is very real. Yep. She's waking up. Corone is waking up. But what she has been told is that the Rangers killed her brother. And whoever this fucking Ranger is, that's not him. But then she starts to believe it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which goes into the next episode.